hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 plus 3 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verified that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous roots so uh, for this uh, we uh, solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here uh, in this method here first you see that 3 to the power of x be the common term so that uh, first we will take common 3 to the power of x into the left hand side and after taking common this here we get a 1 plus here we get a 1 is equals to this is uh, 3 plus 3 and it is equals to 6 and uh, further in the next step we have this is 3 to the power of x time this is 1 plus 1 becomes 2 is equals to 6 so here we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we need to remove this 2 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 2 so when you divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 2 equals to 6 divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here 3 to the power of x is equals to this is 2 times 3 becomes 6 and we get here 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 and uh, further in the next step uh, here we need to use the nice exponential are you know about that if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n this implies that m is equals to n so we apply this rule uh, only when um, the bases on both of the sides are same then according to this rule we just equate its exponent and you see here the exponent in the right hand side is 1 uh, also the bases on both of the sides are same so that uh, we just equate the exponent on both of the sides so when you will take exponents uh, equating the exponents it will be written as x is equals to 1 so here we directly get the value of x is equals to 1 so this is the one root which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, i hope so you like both of these methods so in the second method uh, we need uh, to copy down a uh, given question statement here the given question statement is 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 plus 3 this is the our given question statement and in the second method i can just give you another technique to find the value of x and uh, uh, in this way you can see here these two uh, same like terms are added by each other and we know about that when like terms are added by each other uh, and these are also variable terms so do you just uh, add the coefficients of these uh, uh, terms okay so you see here the coefficient of both of these terms are uh, 1 and when you add 1 plus 1 you get here 2 times of 3 to the power of x is equals to and here you see that this is 3 plus 3 becomes here 6 and now here further in the next step we just divide uh, both of the sides by 6 in the first method we just divide by 2 but now here I, I can just give you another technique so that we divide both of the sides by 6 so when you divide by 6 it will be written as in this form so here we cancel this term you get here 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we will get here this is 3 to the power of x divided by 3 is equals to uh, when you divide it by these two terms and you get here 1 only okay and uh, further in the next step uh, you see here the exponent in the denominator term is 1 uh, so that uh, here we use another uh, exponent division law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m minus n so according to uh, this exponential law uh, here we just uh, move uh, the exponent in the denominator term towards the exponent to the numerator term so we move this one towards x it will be written as 
3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 1 and uh, here we uh, write our right hand side uh, of the 1 as in this form it will become 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 0 we know that when we will take the exponent of any term uh, is 0 it is always equals to uh, 1 so you get here 3 to the power of 0 equals to 1 and now here we use the uh, exponent law which we can state into the into the first method so here we create uh, the exponents of these terms and it will be written as x minus 1 is equals to 0 and this implies that we get the value of x is equals to 1 so uh, from second method we again get the value of x is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of x so that for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here it is 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 plus 3 so this is the our given question statement and now we substitute the value of x into the left hand side and it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of 1 is equals to this is 3 plus 3 becomes 6 and here we have this is 3 plus 3 becomes 6 is equals to 6 so this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side this means that the value of x is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos